The Empire's on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. globalist social engineers are not just targeting us with propaganda. They are manipulating our genetics. We are being targeted at every level by estrogen mimickers that lower our testosterone and other hormones and natural compounds that the body needs. After consulting top doctors, nutritionists, pharmacists, and others, we have developed what I believe is the ultimate non-GMO organic super male vitality formula sourced from powerful organic herbs and then concentrated for maximum potency Super Male Vitality was developed to activate your body's own natural processes instead of using synthetic chemicals. Super Male Vitality by InfoWars Life is so powerful that I only take half the recommended dose. For a limited time, we are offering 15% off Super Male Vitality at InfoWarsLife.com to introduce you to this powerful supplement. Visit InfoWarsLife.com today to secure your Super Male Vitality. InfoWarsLife.com a chemical spill contaminating the water supply in nine West Virginia counties. This year alone, over 300,000 people in West Virginia had their drinking water contaminated. What are the health effects of having these drugs in our drinking water? It's forced medical treatment without the consent of residents. My friends, water filtration is one of the most basic actions you can take to protect you and your family from the harmful toxins and heavy metals in your tap water. On average, the county says it sprays with the glyphosate at least once a week. Few filters cut out the glyphosate that is found in water supply worldwide. Remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, hydrofluorosilicic acid, sodium hexafluorosilicate. Fluoride, it is in tea, it's in coffee, it's in water, it's in bread, it's in toothpaste. It is our responsibility to protect our families. The establishment's not going to do it. It's time to take action. It's time to filter our water. Visit InfoWarsStore.com and use promo code WATER to get 10% off their entire family of incredible products. Or call toll-free 888-253-3139. From the water table, to our soils, to the atmosphere itself, our world is becoming more and more toxic each and every day. But it's not just the air outside that's toxic. Indoor air has been shown to have two to five times higher concentrations of pollutants than even outdoor air. And most Americans spend 90% of their time inside using toxic chemicals within their homes. There are more than 42 million smokers in the United States. Well over a thousand types of mold and mildew linked to numerous conditions. And don't forget the fact that six million Americans live with pets they're allergic to as well. When I began to research these statistics, it was clear to me it was time to start cleansing my lungs in order to combat the toxic environment that we cannot escape but that we can fight back against. Made with organic and wild cultivated herbs and manufactured in the USA, the new InfoWars Life Lung Cleanse is here in a convenient spray bottle that can be brought with you throughout any toxic environment. Now available exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com or by calling toll-free 888-253-3139. Incinerated to heat UK hospitals. Soylent Green, ladies and gentlemen, is made out of people. But now children are literally being passed through the furnace in order to fuel hospitals in the UK. They're being sacrificed on the altar of efficiency and prosperity. What is the secret of Soylent Green? The powdered flesh from dead babies. Some people believe they can cure disease. Because of its enormous popularity, Soylent Green is in short supply. Remember, Tuesday is Soylent Green Day. The supply of Soylent Green has been exhausted. You must evacuate the area. Today is Tuesday! The federal court ruled that the shareholders of PepsiCo, big Bilderberg Group company, are not allowed to know uh, what they're using the baby parts for in the flavoring, but we already know. So enjoy the flavor. We're going to get the real solution, which is going to be a combination of death panels and, and sales taxes. I'm consistently pro-death. I'm for assisted suicide. I'm for regular suicide. I'm for whatever gets the freeway moving. Is spending a million dollars on that last three months of life for that patient, would it be better not to lay off the, those 10 teachers and to make that trade up in medical costs? But that's called the death panel. Uh, and you're not supposed to have that discussion. They told me to, uh, to say that they were sorry, but that you had become unreliable. <laughs>
Is this the kind of society that you want to live in? Any kind of society that would do this to its children will do it to its senior citizens. It will do it to its dissidents. That kind of society will also eventually turn on its police, on its army, on its prison guards, on the quizlings and the collaborators who make that possible. This is nothing but a suicide cult. The scoops are on their way. The scoops are on their way. I repeat, the scoops are on their way. You will find out why Soylent Green means life. You will find out why Soylent Green means death. We gotta stop them! It is the secret of Silent Green. Silent Green is people! The next thing they'll be breeding is like cattle for food. You gotta tell them. Science fiction becomes reality. Thank you, Charlton Heston. You know, we reported about a month ago, and people didn't even believe the story that uh, UK hospitals were burning the bodies of aborted babies to heat the hospitals. Well, Life Site News, Breitbart and the Examiner, Drudge has it, DrudgeReport.com, are all reporting Oregon Energy Plant burns aborted babies to generate electricity for the state. And now the state is saying that they're going to halt that Oregon County put stop to incinerating aborted babies for electricity. Quote, we are outraged. They didn't even know that was going on. Uh, and meanwhile, speaking of Oregon, um, cover Oregon Health Exchange website to shut down. I mean, that's how fraudulent uh, all of this garbage is via Obamacare. Now, here's the big news today, and it ties in to the attack on free speech as well. There's just a war on every front and a bunch of key economic news. This news is so big that, quite frankly, I shouldn't cover anything but this. But what I'm going to do is, at the start of the next hour, I will focus as professionally as I can and muster all of my oratory uh, skills and try to break down what's happened in Ukraine and where I believe it's going. Now, you know, so far I've predicted what was going to happen and it's starting to happen. It's not hard to predict. This is a globalist plan. So I'm, I'm really looking at what they're doing, what they've done in the past and their programs of destabilization. And so it's not really even predicting. Except this is Russia and the outcomes are so horrible that I can't believe this is happening. And if I was a coward, or even if I had more self-preservation instincts, I would be getting my family out of the United States right now. And I'm not saying that that means we're going to have a nuclear war. But if there was, say, a 10% chance that there was going to be a nuclear war, would you get your family out of major target sites, like the middle of Texas? Or if there was a 10% chance robbers were coming to kill you, would you get out of your house that night? I'd say there's a 10% chance, probably higher, that we're going to have a full-out nuclear war. And people have heard my show for 19 years. Some of you have been listening that long in Austin. Been syndicated for almost 18. You know I've never talked like that. Usually nuclear war threats are, are just stuff the government uses to hype. This is a really bad situation. It, it's so horrible that it's beyond having a, a, a nasty feeling in my, in my mind and in my chest and my stomach. It's more just a feeling of unbelief, disbelief. Let me, let me just read you these headlines, okay? And, and then I'm going to get to this at the start of the next hour. Russia wants to start World War III Ukrainian Prime Minister. That's CNBC. That's not Alex Jones. Here's AP. Ukraine Foreign Minister ready to fight Russia. AP. London Telegraph. Ukraine helicopter hit by a grenade taking off. A Ukraine helicopter has been crippled in a grenade attack as Kiev warns Moscow is engineering a third world war. Third world war. Did you hear that? Putin warns of consequences as Ukraine steps up offensive. Bloomberg. Kerry warns Russia of expensive new sanctions. On the heels of that, S&P downgrades Russia. Russia threatens scorched earth retaliation against NATO countries. 
That's a zero hedge up on Infowars.com. Washington Free Beacon. Pentagon, Russia spy ship, tug operations near U.S. Ships near nuclear submarine base in Kings Bay, Georgia. They're surveilling and obviously getting ready for submarine launch cruise missile attacks on the U.S. Can't stop those cruise missiles, folks. So the Russians have moved cruise missiles into the coast. They don't need Cuba anymore. Thanks a lot, New World Order. How traders are preparing for a worsening Ukraine crisis, CNBC. We have the twin dangers of the Ukraine crisis, an article by Newt Gingrich that basically tells the truth other than demonizing Russia and admits it caused World War III. That's CNN. Okay, what's the issue here? This was triggered when Ukraine didn't vote three and a half months ago to go under EU spin a rats and be rolled up and put in the web to be sucked dry. They, they didn't want to jump in the spider web, so they activated the paramilitary groups to blow up government buildings and firebomb everything, open Nazis hiling Hitler. I mean, you can't make this stuff up. And then to take over the country. And I'm not saying that a lot of Ukrainians don't have beefs with Russia and that Russia isn't another tyranny. The point is that the West started this. And I said, the Russians are going to grab certain areas that they control and need, and then the other Russians in the East are going to want to join Russia. They're going to stand up themselves. They're not going to want to be ethnically cleansed. You know, civil war is going to break out. They're going to send in the Ukrainian military, NATO, CIA-backed. The Russians are going to fight back. The Russians are going to roll armor in. If NATO responds militarily, boom, nuclear war. I mean, that's the scenario next hour I'm going to walk through with you. And my gut tells me this is not some higher level deal with Putin, where they're going to just divide the two countries and act like that it was a, a, a fight. And the decision has been made to cut the country in two, and Russia gets to suck eastern Ukraine dry, and NATO and the, and the EU get to suck the other side dry, like the Hitler-Stalin pact with uh, Poland. Now, I think that's in the cards and being discussed. Diplomatically, they always have multiple game plans, but that's not where this is going. And the hardening of structures, the digging in, the bunkers here, the bunkers in Russia, the global financial crisis, Rand Corporation two years ago signaling on a major theater war, maybe a third world war, to bring in the world government. This could be it. Five years before Joel Skousen says it's coming. And I think Joel's a smart guy, but... And we'll get him on, you know, maybe next week, maybe Sunday. I'll be live this Sunday. I will be in studio live this Sunday, 4 to 6 p.m. We've had family stuff come up, and then I've had uh, stuff happen, you know, like Easter. So I've missed a few of the Sunday shows. And my grandmother, I don't want to get into it. She's 89, and she's had a fall about a month ago, and we've been taking care of her. I don't want to get off into all that, but she's stabilized now. So that's why I've been missing some time. When it rains, it pours. I had a bunch of other family stuff going on, so that's, but I'm here. I only take a few days off here and there. I'll probably take more time off. It's just a, it, when it rains, it pours. A lot of other family stuff I'll tell you about later, but very soon. But the point is, is that all hell's been breaking loose around here. But I'll be live this Sunday, 4 to 6 p.m., Lord willing. Now, here's the issue. There are times in history when more happens in a year than happened the previous 50. Many historians have said that. We're entering that key flux period right now where on every front, technological development, cultural changes, demographic changes, military operations, awakenings, decadence, the good, the bad, and the ugly, you're going to see a lot of things happen. And you're also, during crises, going to find out who's who. Benedict Arnold was probably the third, or after George Washington, General Green, maybe the second greatest general of the six, seven-year war from 1775, officially 1776, that went on for the next six years or so. But it turned out the last two years he thought we were going to lose, and, and he'd been British the whole time. Most people fighting were British. They were tired of having their rights taken. They both have been redcoats. George Washington, all of them. And so he was a double agent the whole time, the last two years at least. Because he thought he was going with the winners. He didn't all in for what he thought was right. He was a pragmatist, a sociopath. 
I can officially say after five years, six years of Glenn Beck lying about me and attacking me that he is a Benedict Arnold.